So let's uh, measure some uh, frequency plots here with uh, different op amps. I have uh, three different op amps. I have an LM358. I have a, a TL072 and a TLC272. And uh, those have gotten me into trouble before, and I'll, I'll mention that later. But uh, right now I have the uh, LM358 uh, in there, and that's a pretty old op amp. Um, I'm not sure exactly if it's all bipolar or has some FETs in it. I don't remember. Anyway, uh, I have it wired up. Uh, I have it wired up like this. Um, I have it as a uh, just a buffer. Uh, negative goes back to the input. Uh, I mean, the uh, negative input goes to the output. And that goes to the scope, and then I have the generator on this side. And I'm going to be running this op, each of these op amps from uh, ground to plus 12 instead of plus and minus 12. The reason for that is the TLC part um, will not take negative voltages. It has to be grounded, um, so I'm going to use them all the same way. So um, if you do have TLCs and TLs, TLs you can run plus and minus, TLCs you cannot. And I, more than on one occasion, I've put a TLC device into a plus and minus 12 volt circuit and blown it up. They get very hot <laughs> and burn up. Um, so don't do that. So anyway, um, we have the generator coming in. And because we're going between uh, ground and 12 volts, the generator can't be around zero. It has to have a DC offset. And so it has a three volt DC offset and then it's wiggling up and down at one volt. Um, so that's going through the scope. And so let's see what the LM358 uh, does. Uh, the LM358 uh, does well. So this again, this sweep is from uh, 10 hertz to 1 megahertz. So just below 100 megahertz. So at a kilohertz, it's flat. At 10 kilohertz, it's flat. And a probably around, oh, I'd say 80, 70 or 80 kilohertz, it starts to roll off. Um, so fairly slow device but uh, certainly usable in the audio range. Uh, maybe not a lot of headroom, but it's in the audio range. Okay, so let's come here and I will swap out the 358 for a, uh, let's see, this is a TLC 272. They're all pin compatible. And it is a bit different. Um, it works well out to 100 kilohertz. And around 130 kilohertz, it starts to roll off. And because it's a, uh, it's not a uh, plus or minus volt, it's not a symmetric around zero volt device. It's a zero to plus 12 volt device. Um, it's going to it's going to clip on the high end, but it's not clipping on the low end, uh, so that's a bit unusual. But you can see that it's rolling off from about one, I'd say about 130, 140 kilohertz, uh, and pretty pretty severe. All right, and then uh, let's take out that part, and we will put in a. TL072. So a lot of people are using this part these days. TL072. You'll see that in a lot of uh, a lot of circuits. It's a handy part. And we'll turn this one on. And it's very fast. Uh, so it stays flat out to a megahertz. I'm not sure how far beyond a megahertz it operates, but uh, uh, you can see that it's a pretty flat response all the way out to a megahertz. So. There's a specification in op amps called the gain bandwidth product. And um, as you apply more gain to the op amp, allow the op amp to run at a higher gain, the, the uh, bandwidth will go down. So the gain and the bandwidth uh, is a product. You multiply those two things together and you get a number. So if you, if you lower the lower the gain, you lower the bandwidth, you, uh, uh, you raise the gain, you lower the bandwidth, you lower the bandwidth, you raise the gain. So they, they go hand in hand. Um, but anyway, uh, just a way to test out, uh, test out some op amps. Um, I'm going to be getting some op amps in the mail, so that's why I set this up. 
I'm going to be getting some uh, NE 5532s or otherwise known as JRC 5532s, otherwise known as MJN, I think, or N NJM uh, 33, uh, 5532s. Uh, they're ubiquitous in, uh, in a lot of equipment, uh, a lot of high-end uh, uh, equipment. There, there are better op amps these days, but those are very jelly bean parts and they're very, very good. They have a very low noise signal, uh, very low noise specification, um, nanovolts per root hertz, uh, root hertz, root hertz and uh, they're, they're very, very good. So I'm gonna be getting the, some of those for the circuit I'm gonna be building.